Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a comparison of uh, the Realme 7 that's now launched in the Indian market with the Realme 6 that was one of the best choices under 20,000 rupees category because it did come with one of the powerful, powerful chipsets and also uh, a decent 90 hertz display and the fast charging solution being one of the fastest again in the same price range. But now since the Realme 7 has launched what is different and what has Realme now changed for the users and how can they call it an upgrade from the Realme 6. Let's talk about that here. Firstly, with the display, there's no difference. It's the same screen size, the same resolution, the same refresh rate, the same uh, Coningula Glass 3 protection. So there's no difference at all. 6.5 inch display, 2400 into 1080 pixels of screen resolution and 90 hertz refresh rate. So at least with the Realme 7 and not the Pro, Realme 7, they have kept the 90 hertz refresh rate active here, but that's one difference here. The 7 Pro actually has an AMOLED display and that is why they had to retain the 60 hertz refresh rate there. Here they have the 90 hertz, but it's no upgrade from the IPS LCD. It's the same IPS LCD display that you're seeing on both the devices now, the Realme 6 as well as the Realme 7. So there's no difference in that aspect here, but one difference that you can see here on the design aspect is this one. So we have thankfully the same uh, whitish or the silkish color uh, and uh, here you can see one has the projective kind of uh, this uh, uh, design on the back. This is on the Realme 6. While on the Realme 7, you have kind of a cutout on the side, which you can see here. And this cutout actually gives you two different uh, frames. And this one has a softer finish. It's kind of a matte, soft matte finish. And this was on the Realme X3 as well. But this glossy one is more prone to scratching. This doesn't uh, have that issue about the scratching off uh, easily. And the camera combination again has a quad camera setup on the back but here since the flashlight was outside the camera module area uh, this was a perfect oval shape but here it is kind of a rectangular with the softer corners on the camera because the flash now is a part of the module area and there's a proper mention of the 64 mp ai camera we'll talk about the camera later because it is something you really need to know about and that one major change might uh, call the realme 7 a great upgrade from the realme 6. Now moving on to the processor part of it, it was one of the best performing chipsets. Frankly, when we talk about gaming, it was actually one of the best because this was the Helio G90 from MediaTek and it came with the Mali G76 MC4 GPU, which was clocking at 800 megahertz. Now, what has changed from that? Now, this is the Helio G95 on the Realme 7 and the G95 is not so different when we talk about the CPU part of it. It's the same actually. It's 2.05 gigahertz, the maximum clock speed that you see there. But the GPU being almost the same, it still has a 100 megahertz faster clock speed. So it's a 900 megahertz clock speed GPU on the Helio G95. And that's the difference here with the performance. The GPU score as well, when we did the Antutu benchmarks, obviously with the gaming, you'll see our gaming reviews and understand how it is going to perform. But with the benchmarks, you can, you can see that there's some difference about 8,000 points. This was almost close to 3 lakh points. And if we talk about the uh, deeper point uh, level, you can see that the GPU score, the second one is better on the Helio G95 because of that faster clock speed. So it's about 6,000 difference on the GPU score itself. And otherwise it's almost the same score on CPU because the CPU isn't really different. So that's where the Helio G95 is called better because of that gaming aspect, the GPU aspect of it. So the graphics processor is going to be better on the Helio G95 on the Realme 7. Now moving on to that part, which I was talking about earlier, it's the camera combination. So the other cameras are the same. It's the eight megapixel ultra wide camera with the 119 degrees field of view. Then a two megapixel black and white portrait camera. There's a two megapixel macro camera as well. But the primary camera being the major change here is going to define the Realme 7 as a major upgrade. So it's a 64 MP camera on both of them. There's no difference in that sensor area or the sensor size. It's actually the same with the F1.8 aperture, but the sensor being used is very different. Samsung's GW1 sensor was what uh, was doing the capture job on the Realme 6. GW1 sensor is not a bad one. Uh, there's no such claim that the GW1 uh, sensor is going to perform bad, but it's of course one of those best sensors that you get on the Realme 7. It's the Sony IMX686, the current best flagship uh, 64 MP camera, I would say, based on whatever we tested earlier, even on the uh, mid-range phones or the larger phones with the same sensor, 
The 64 MP Sony IMX686 is what is offered on the Realme 7 and that is one major change here and 64 MP the size being the same you still have better features here and also Realme has now included features like the starry mode which was present on the Realme X3 and the X3 Super Zoom earlier now you are seeing that on the Realme 7 series and that was not present on the Realme 6 so that is one other difference from the Realme 6 here. Now with the battery actually the capacity is quite different the Realme 6 had come with a 4300mAh battery which was decent enough again not so competitive when we talk about some of the competitive brands at the same price range but now Realme has realized that you need to offer better battery capacities at least because that doesn't only cater to the regular users it also caters to the gamers who spend hours and hours on a single device and when you're making a phone with the GPU as one of the major aspects you obviously need to pump in more power so now the Realme 7 has a 5000 mAh battery on the uh, device and the fast charging is still the same 30 watt fast charging is present on both the devices no difference there so obviously it's going to take some extra time on the realme 7 to charge the larger battery but in the end higher battery capacity is always something people look out for so 4000 mAh battery and 5000 mAh battery is the difference between the realme 6 and the realme 7 with the weight there's not a lot of difference actually the realme 6 was about 191 grams and this is 196.5 so it's not hugely different with the weight and uh, you can clearly understand when you hold the devices there's not a lot of uh, noticeable difference and the actual weight distribution is quite good so it's evenly distributed so it's all good and the realme 7 is one of the first series or the realme 7 and 7 pro are the first devices to have the tuv rainland certification where they do multiple testing and then give the certifications to the devices so realme 7 has that realme 6 did not have that so these are the major differences between the two phones even the front camera is going to be the same 16 megapixel f 2.0 selfie camera uh, which looks like the in display one but it it's called just the in display it's the punch hole camera on both the phones towards the left corner otherwise there's no difference there and you have the presence of the dedicated micro sd card slot there there's no difference in the connectivity ports you have the uh, 3.5 mm headset jack the usb type c connectivity and the same storage uh, ufs 2.1 and the lpddr4x ram as well so no difference in those kind of uh, all features majority of the differences included the gpu speeds then the major camera sensor difference and the battery capacity so those are the major differences and even the design is quite different on the realme 6 and the realme 7 so these were the difference between the two best phones now i can I call even this the best phone obviously you'll note that with the pricing in the description below because i'm not really sure about the price when it gets launched and we are making this video before the launch and the box pricing on this one is given as 20,999 for the 8GB RAM variant with 128GB storage. So it could be somewhere around 19,000 so you can make your conclusions based on that as well. But let's see how the uh, Realme 7 is priced, how aggressive it's going to be. Otherwise, it's surely an upgrade from the Realme 6 because not just the GPU but that camera update is going to be something that many would be looking out for. So that's it in this video guys. I hope you like this video. If you do to share and subscribe to the times for more. Thanks for watching and see you next video.